G'day guys, Matty from 4 Sessions Australia. So I'm going to show you how to fit up a 3 inch PSR strut. So I'll show you how to pull the original stuff out and how to get the new one in. So let's check it out. Straight up, I'm going to pull off the ABS cord. It's one cord you do not want to snap. So we'll get rid of that. That's it. Just hang that way out of the way because you don't want to stuff that up. Pull this out. Pull your clip out. Crack that. Spin it off to the end. Wing. So now what you want to do is just hit this. It'll pop up. Yeah, that just watch your brake line. Should hang off the steering arm, but watch it anyway. Just remember to keep that out of the way. Yeah, there's undo nuts at the top. Leave that one on just finger tight. Now we'll undo the lower shock bolt. Twenty one mil on the bottom. So you can't get the shock out with the sway bar in. So we'll have to drop the sway bar out and that'll give us a room to get in there. Once the sway bar is out, pretty simple. Drop it out, drop the strut out. Top first. Bloody hell. Thought I was filming, but it turns out I wasn't. So I've used a ratchet strap just to pull that arm down because I'm working by myself. So I can get the upper arm and the lower joint joined together. So a little ratchet strap just helps bring it together. I've got the jack underneath, which will see help lifting it up. To get this strut in, god damn, what I ended up getting was a 36mm socket undoing the CV and just dropping the CV out well pretty much just pushing it back out of the hub which give me gave me a lot more play to be able to get that strut in so yeah bit of fun see how you go I got the other side in without dropping the CV but this side I have to drop the CV so anyway get it all back together and hopefully we're all good struts all in now I'm not going to do this bolt up until it's back on the ground but I've done up the top top three bolts this is all tightened up, all my bracketry and everything's back on, so it's all sitting there neat. So now do the other side and then we'll sit on the ground and do up the lower shock bolt. Well there you have it guys, struts all in. Look, didn't go in as easy as what I thought, but we got there in the end. Just gonna head up, get a wheel on it. You gotta make sure you definitely get a wheel on it because you've lifted the car a fair bit. So hopefully, should be all good. Anyway guys, I'll bring you more videos and more I keep doing. Have a good one.